Greetings, and welcome back to the Old Ways Rising Farm YouTube channel. This is going to be another in my Beginner Gardener series, tips and suggestions for how to move forward from nothing to something for people who are new to agriculture and growing plants and, and looking to take those first steps. And what I want to talk about with this is basically how to process tips. Okay? One of the good things about YouTube and Pinterest and all of these other social media platforms is that it makes a world of unlimited tips available to you. One of the downsides is that it makes a world of unlimited tips available to you, right? So this is, this is a double-edged sword. And it's not good to get so lost in, how do I find the perfect tip or the perfect cheat code or like the, the, the perfect piece of advice and oh my gosh, all of this seems contradictory and conflicting and how do I even get started, right? And, and that's a problem. So what I wanna talk about here is processing data and how to process data. And what I'm using as a framework for this is an article that was published by Dr. Kim Bridges, one of my mentors from University of Hawaii. And he wrote an article it's the, the five stages here are not original to him, but he wrote an article taking this and applying it to students in his program as, as a way of, of helping people to experience the skill building process and try to figure out objectively where they are and then based on knowing objectively where they are in here, how to proceed to the next level. Okay, so I put a little citation down there at the bottom of the board. I will also put a full citation in the description, in the description box of this video. It is an open access article, so you can all go and get it. Um, but this is a framework with five steps. We have novice, advanced beginner, competent, proficient, and expert. Okay, and ultimately the goal <coughs> is to progress up toward expert, right? That's kind of, thank you, Captain Obvious, right? And in order to advance towards expert, we need more skill. That skill comes from more experience, and that takes time, okay? You cannot delete time from this equation. Life has no cheat code. There is no substitute <laughs> for hard work in the hot sun when you're building a garden. Okay. People talk about easy gardening, they mean easier than a dumb solution, but they don't actually mean that it won't take the sweat of the brow in order to get the carrot to grow. Okay. Anybody who tells you that they can give you a cheat code to um, get that carrot to grow with zero work is blowing smoke at you, disregard them and move on to somebody else. That is my number one tip of this video, but there's a lot more, so stay, so stay with it. Um, the first thing is to kind of recognize where you are in this scheme, okay? So let's just go through it. And this is my paraphrase of Kim Bridges' paraphrase of this idea, right? So um, I was trying to be as succinct as humanly possible. <clears throat> At a novice level, you don't know enough to know what's right or wrong. So you are a rule follower, period. Okay? When you get to an, you know, but this, this, is where, this is where you have to start, right? If you have no clue what painting a picture is about, you go to somebody and say, how do you paint a picture? And they say, well, you buy a paintbrush. Okay, that's a rule. I need to buy a paintbrush. And you follow it because you have zero experience. Okay, That is where you have to start. This is part of the paradigmatic nature of the human brain. You have to start with a baseline rule when you know nothing about something. This is not an insult. It's a recognition of how the human mind works. Okay. So this is your total, total beginner is a rule follower. And you're trying to find the right set of rules to follow which is both the advantage and disadvantage of social media because there's so many and most of them are not appropriate to your context. Every rule exists because it's appropriate to somebody's context, but most of them are not appropriate to your context. We'll come back to that. It's not that they're wrong, they're just wrong for you. Right? What's right for me and what right is right for somebody in Arizona are different things. 
Now, from there you get to advanced beginner. An advanced beginner is somebody who has a few years of experience under their belt, maybe take a class, maybe um, spend a lot of time talking to their neighbors and to local garden centers, and has collected a bunch of rules. My classic example of an advanced beginner is somebody with like three years of experience and a Master Gardener class. Something like that. That's an advanced beginner. Master Gardener courses, despite the name, are advanced beginner courses. Okay? Now, the advanced beginner has enough rules, you have a whole collection of rules, and has enough experience that that person can start to understand the core issues involved in fill-in-the-blank activity. For us, we're talking about gardens. Okay? To be able to with knowledge and with confidence, choose the best rules. Okay? Choose the best rules. So that's the advanced beginner stage. You've had your master gardener class, you've had your three to five years of experience. Now you're in a place where you know your context well enough that you can choose the best rules. Okay? Up from that we come to competent. When we reach to competent, this is where you start coming to the realization that the infinity of potential rules is too much to possibly memorize. Okay? Here and here, you're memorizing rules and applying them religiously. Okay? Without taking responsibility for choosing the rule, with taking responsible sp responsibility for choosing the rule. But both of these stages are primarily driven by memorization. Okay? Memorization is for noobs, however. It is a necessary step, but it is a newbie step. Okay? You still have to do it. You still have to do it. But once we get to the competent level, we're starting to recognize that there is too much to memorize all of it, and we're moving from rules to heuristics. Okay? So the mind of a competent practitioner of fill in the blank, but here we're talking about gardening, is going to observe that these 35 rules all have, seem to have an underlying principle. Identify that in underlying principle as an expression of your own original problem solving and creativity. Turn that principle into a heuristic and now stop memorizing all of those 35 rules. Okay? That is the competent level of development. Proficient we're moving past rules entirely and taking responsibility for collecting our own data and coming up with our own original conclusion independent of anything that we learned from the mouth of another human. Okay? But if you haven't mastered the ability to write heuristics, you cannot, you don't have the intellectual tools to perform this step and you can't write heuristics until you've memorized a bunch of stuff. So that you can't just say, oh, I'm a novice, I want to skip to proficient. No. There is no cheat code. It takes experience and time to build skill. No substitute, no shortcuts, except that. <laughs> okay? So, you know, you can kind of think of this as like, like this is your bachelor's of science, this is your master's degree, this is your PhD, and this is this as your... 20 years of experience in the field. Okay? Right, so getting a PhD makes you proficient at a science, but not yet the, the world's expert. Okay? Um, that's kind of why I say, like, Master Gardener class is advanced beginner. That's like getting your bachelor's. Okay? Now, the world is intuitive and solutions are instinctive. This is the expert level. When you find yourself looking at a situation, looking at an environment, looking at something that's having that's happening in your garden, and you don't need to expressly tabulate a bunch of data or sit there and sort through a list of mental heuristics, let alone go and Google a rule. Now you're at the expert level. Okay? This is where it all is just second nature. <clears throat> and that takes ex extensive experience and first-hand experience at being every location on this ladder. 
You don't get to skip steps. Okay. Now, how does that relate to sorting and processing tips? Well, hopefully as you've been watching this, you've been thinking to yourself, which of these kind of feels like me? Right? Do I feel like somebody who, this is my first time planting a garden, or even my third time planting a garden? Do I feel like somebody who's had a master gardener class or the equivalent of it? Do I feel like somebody who's out there rewriting rules? Do I feel like somebody who's collecting data? Okay? If you feel like one of these two, you don't need this video. Right? Unless you want to show it to somebody else. Right? Go, go spend your time somewhere else. <laughs> Give it a like on your way out. But go spend your time somewhere else. If you're one of these three, let's talk about how to process tips. Okay? If you're a novice, rule follower, your goal should be not to try and collect every tip, every strategy, every cheat code that anybody has ever put up on the internet. You're going to confuse yourself and you're going to, metaphorically speaking, lose the forest for the trees. And it will not be a fun time. You're just going to get mad, angry, and frustrated. So if you are here and you're just looking for the rules, I just want to grow five tulips, three tomato plants, and a little bit of basil for my pizza. Okay? Go and try to collect a small number of rules, less than ten, like ten or a dozen rules at tops. Don't overcomplicate it and get those rules from somebody as close to you in physical geography as humanly possible. Okay? I am located in the Finger Lakes of New York. I grew up in northern Pennsylvania. I know the Mid-Atlantic region. If you are watching from this region, sure, you can get some of those rules from this channel. If you're watching this from Arizona or Canada or somewhere in Europe or Africa, or South America, take the concept from this, but go get your rules from somebody who's close to you. Preferably somebody who's been gardening for a long time. Don't even worry about whether they're the best gardener in the area. Make sure they know how to grow something because that's your goal right now. Get experience growing, not nothing. Okay? So garden centers are great from this. Neighbors are great from the, for this. Parents and grandparents who garden are great for this. Get a small number of rules, single digit important rules locally, and let that be it for the first couple of years. Apply them, see what happens. Okay? Now, once you say, okay, my tomatoes are not dying, my basil is beautiful, but I'd like to have tulips survive longer, right? What well, now you're starting to have some knowledge from experience and have some skills in which you are competent. Now come and spend your time expanding your rule set. Okay? Now it's time to go to, to the internet for tips. And look at the broad diversity of rules. Because at this point, you can take your class and understand what it means. You can go to YouTube channels and watch and say, is this or not appropriate for my area? Okay? You'll know something about how plants react to climate, so you'll be better able to sort. Well, okay, there's a reason so many German people settled in the Mid-Atlantic, because it's about the same climate. So if you're at this level from Germany, Come watch my videos, it's going to be pretty darn close. You know enough because you have enough experience and skill from the time you've already spent to sort what parts of what I'm saying are useful in your garden. If you're from Germany and at this level, go talk to another German, please. <laughs> Get specific rules for your specific area. Okay? But this is where you start collecting. This is your this is where you're going to start collecting rules in here. Um, don't try to collect too many when you're a novice. Now when you're competent and taking rules to heuristics, do more of this. Right? Because now you've had, you know, you spent three to five years here, you spent three to five years here, we'll just 
maybe more, maybe less. I don't know who you are. You're an individual, not a cookie cutter. Right, so you spent time in both of these regions. You now have a lot of rules, and now you can really dig in at a new level. Now you can go and deliberately look at people's rules from other areas to find better and more rounded and more universal heuristics. Right, so once you're up in here, it starts to make sense to go and study, if you're interested in water control on your property, to study water control with a worldwide perspective. See what the commonalities are and the differences, because now you have enough experience leading to skill from time spent in the field to really be able and competent in digging in and writing those heuristics. Okay? And once you get good at that and you're taking responsibility for data, <coughs> now I want to watch your YouTube channel. Right? So now you're in a completely different ball game. And that's a completely separate conversation. If you think you're up here and you're still looking for tips, you're not up here. Go figure out where you really are. Okay? So this is the category that I specifically want to address, right? This category is where we all want to end up and we all can end up as long as we stick with it and work through this stepwise. There is, I'm going to say it one more time, my most important tip of all tips is that there is no tip that can take you from novice directly to expert. There is no class that can take you from novice to master or expert. A class can take you from novice to advanced beginner. Only time and dirt under the fingernails can take you from advanced beginner to competent. And only more dirt under the fingernails after you've reached competent can you get to the upper levels. And this is true of all areas of skill building, right? At the point that I'm making this video, uh, my wife and I have been working on this particular YouTube channel for about a little over two months. Okay? I am here on YouTube videos, and I know it. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Eventually, I want to be here, but right now, I am here with YouTube videos. Okay? Mm -hmm. I am a rule follower right now. I am paying attention to channels that instruct on this and learning about the tech and learning about editing and learning about lighting and how to do all of these things. But right now, with two months in, there is no cheat code that can take me from here to expert. And I know it. So I'm going to spend the time here and I'm glad that you're along for this ride. And I hope that this has been informative and hopefully a little bit encouraging, okay? And if you feel frustrated because things aren't going well and you were looking for a cheat code to get higher or you found some wonderful tip and it just ended up being from the wrong area and didn't work for you, don't worry about it. That's experience. The fact that you're frustrated means you're closer to the next objective. I will leave you with that thought and hope that you will join us for the next video. Go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and ring the bell so that you can see what comes up in the future. Have a wonderful day.